Every semester I get students asking me about the education requirements for taking, that is being eligible to take, the CAPM or the PMP exam. So let's look at those real quick. For the CAPM, you have either 1,500 hours of experience or some education requirements. For the PMP, you have to have some education uh, either way. So let's take a quick look at that. So those are the requirements for each of these certifications. But one of the things that is especially confusing for college students, either the undergraduates or MBAs that are considering taking uh, these uh, particular certifications, uh, is when they look at this, they think 35 hours, that's a year and a half of college. This is almost, two, this is almost an entire year of college. Well, um, unfortunately, on a lot of the literature from PMI, uh, they don't uh, describe this, uh, at least not on the uh, initial pages you go to. This is really contact hours, so we should really put contact hours in here. So it's not like hours at a college uh, um, class, like credit hours. <clears throat> so this is great if you have had even one class in project management, uh, you're probably going to meet these uh, qualifications. So let's say that you have a class that meets for 15 weeks, maybe 16 week semester, but we got finals. And in my classes, we meet for uh, twice a week for an hour and 15 minutes, so uh, two and a half hours a, uh, a week. Uh, and that's going to give you 37.5. Uh, contact hours. So by taking that one course, you would have had all the, met all the requirements, certainly for the CAPM and for the PMP. Just about any college course, so any accredited uh, institution that's offering a project management course will meet these requirements. So it's a fairly good way to meet those requirements. You might even, if you're outside the college arena, you're not in classes right now, you might even approach the instructor of record and ask if they just let you sit in in the class and audit it is what we call it. So um, then you sometimes you don't have to pay or don't have to pay as much to uh, sit in on that class. So hopefully that clarifies what these education requirements really mean.